overall world forecast, both in direction and volume, uh, was fairly accurate uh, so far, uh, with an average annual growth rate of 4.1%. Uh, we expected a strong growth for emerging destinations and uh, source markets, and that also has materialized. Uh, we have seen a strong growth for Asia, the Pacific, and for Africa. We were right. We saw more moderate gr growth for Europe, uh, which also has been uh, uh, found. Uh, well, of course, shares have uh, changed. Uh, we made a quite bold uh, statement in, in, in uh, uh, let's say, 95, 96, 97, that China would be a major inbound and outbound market, what at that time was not yet that uh, clearly visible. And that really has uh, come out. Um, well, we stressed demography, uh, aging population, uh, we stressed increased uh, uh, visiting friends and relatives, a changing household, a lot of those things we have seen, and also the change from service to experience. If we go a little bit more to the qualitative part, we have also uh, uh, seen uh, uh, materialized. Then there were also a few things we missed. We underestimated the potential of the, of the Middle East. Middle East has quite grown faster also uh, because Middle East uh, in, in the past decade really has invested a lot uh, in uh, its tourism development and that has paid off. Uh, we had an overestimation of the growth of North America. Well, of course, uh, we did not count with 11 September and that really still is uh, affecting uh, the biggest uh, inbound and outbound uh, market of uh, Americas uh, uh, till this moment. Uh, U.S. is recovering, but uh, it, it has taken much longer than uh, in, in other cases. Well, country estimates, of course, are a tricky thing to do. Um, we have underestimated the impact of the new te technologies, uh, in particular uh, the Internet, uh, which, of course, in, in uh, mid-1990 was not that easy to see. Uh, also, some of the tech firms uh, were late uh, to see that, but that really has changed uh, the, the tourism sector quite a lot uh, as a tool for informa information, as a tool for promotion and marketing, but also as uh, a channel for distribution, sales, pricing, uh, management, uh, service. Uh, it has brought more transparency, power to uh, the consumer, and really a lot of things we do now in quite a different way than we used to do them uh, 10 years ago. Um, we did not see the explosion of uh, low-cost airlines in Europe, uh, also in Asia and in the Middle East, which also has quite dramatically changed uh, the tourism sector. Um, also has uh, forced uh, traditional carriers uh, to change uh, to a certain extent their business models. There were of course unexpected events not catered for and well border facilitation, social environmental awareness, we noticed that that it would be important and well there has been importance of that but not as much as we, as we expected. Um, if I wrap up the 2020 vision uh, uh, revisiting, uh, what we can conclude is that we have seen a very strong resilience, first with the Asian uh, financial crisis, later with uh, 11 September, with SARS, with the economic downturn of uh, the, the early uh, 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 21st century, um, with the terrorism, uh, of course, um, and what we also uh, see confirmed, there's still a very strong underlying demand uh, with a huge potential uh, still for growth. Uh, both increase of participation in uh, holiday uh, taking, in uh, business tourism, in, in tourism overall. Uh, also coming from increased frequency, uh, we go more often but we stay a bit shorter. Uh, this is coming from people that already travel, but above all from new emerging middle classes uh, in, in uh, well, some of those economies that are doing uh, very well at this moment. Uh, those countries are accounting with very sizable populations uh, that currently still take only part in international tourism very limitedly.
And many of those emerging economies are going through a rapid economic growth, which results in increasing disposable income and quite a large share of its income uh, is spent on uh, tourism. You see if income rise that people uh, do feel uh, the desire to travel.